Hello for likes, what's live game hoppers, this is Jubline here, here to bring you a brand new weekly episodic show called Xbox Live Game Hub Informer, or XBL G Informer for short. On the show I'll be picking out blogs and posts and other bits and bobs on the site that I think are fantastic and need to be shown on this show. Unfortunately I can't show everything that I think is great, but please look on the site, read people's blogs and posts and have a look at their videos or photos because there's some really really good stuff on the site at the moment and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. Also I'll be touching on other stuff, uh, bits and bobs that I think uh, needs you know a video for, you know like some of the stuff that I think is dead dead good at the moment, stuff that I don't agree on. Also I'll be talking to people that I know about what they think is good, uh, other bits and bobs that they want to share and also I'm asking you, yes you the people on the site to get in touch with me and tell me what you want to be shared. Is there a certain blog post that I've missed out that you think is good? Or maybe that you just want me to talk about a certain game, piece of DLC, a bit of news? I don't know, it's entirely up to you. So please sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. So a bit of news to begin with. As some of you know, at the end of the month is the Eurogamer Expo in London, and I've been fortunate enough to be invited by the XPLG team it's a huge honour, I appreciate it massively. Uh, I understand that they're hard at work trying to get this event to go perfectly. Uh, I know they're busy with stuff on the site as well as their personal lives with work and family. And they're finding time to organise this event and it can't be easy. And from myself and I'm sure from everybody else on the website, thank you for organising this event. And I know it's been so much hard work on you, but don't think that I, as well as, as I said, everybody from the site that doesn't appreciate what you're doing. Um, but I'm glad to be going. Of course, I'm glad. It's, as I said, it's a huge honour. Uh, I'll be meeting people from the website who are going down as well. Um, and I'll be getting them on a Eurogamer uh, special edition of XBLG Informer. And hopefully that'll be up very soon um, while I'm down there. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of good games on show like Dead Space 3, FIFA 12, Borderlands, Dishonored, Hitman, Zone of the Enders, Aliens, Conor Marines. There's going to be absolutely tons and tons. As well as some of the stuff that's not, not on Xbox, which I hopefully will be announced for Xbox, but I won't know till I'm down there. Um, it's looking to be a fantastic event. It really is going to be absolutely brilliant. So hopefully I can give you as much stuff as possible. I'm sure other people who are going to go down there are going to be doing their bit uh, interviewing people from the public as well as people who are showcasing games as well as people from the uh, site who are down. I will be doing the exact same thing on this show. So stay tuned for more information in the coming days and hopefully I shall see you there. Moving on, I'm going to be talking about the blogs and posts that people have put onto the site that I think are really, really good. Um, just because I've not mentioned everything doesn't mean that some things are bad. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff on the site. I just physically can't put it all onto one episode, unfortunately, but I will be putting more onto future episodes and please get in contact with me if you think that you've posted something which you want to be featured on the show or that you've seen something that someone else has done that you think deserves to be on the show and I will hopefully be able to squeeze it in um, but you make this show, it's not just a fancy tagline although it's a good tagline but really you do make this show so keep posting stuff because it's really really good stuff so this is my first piece that I'm going to show today. So my first post is from Michael Whitty and this is talking about the rumour that EA Boss says that he doesn't want to do any solely single player games anymore. If this is just a rumour or not it's hard to tell but I don't agree with it. I mean I love single player games. They are fantastic. I mean I love online but there's just something about a really engrossing single player game like 
the darkness, Alan Wake and Condemned all are just brilliant examples of a great single player experience. He also goes on to say about free to play games which I, I hate, I really really do. Uh, owning an iPad I know exactly what they are. They are the house spawn that the devil produces. They are terrible ways of conning money. They're bad for the industry, they're bad for gamers. I'll struggle to think of a good thing to say about free to play games. They're just awful and hopefully EA is not going to go down that route of just doing free to play games because if they do then I'm sorry but I'm not interested in anything else you'll ever produce. But thank you Michael for that post, it's a really really good post. Uh, now moving on to the next one. Now this post is from Scott Tenno Reynolds. He's been posting a lot of good stuff on the site. This is talking about a new Xbox Live arcade game called Raw, which stands for Realms of Ancient War, which is like a Diablo clone. Diablo is held as one of the best franchises on the PC, and rightfully so. It's a very easy to pick up and play game, but is absolutely incredibly hard to master. And it's nice to see that Xbox Live is getting a clone. I mean, I know it's not the exact same thing, but as good as the trailer makes it out to be, I mean, please read Scott's post and watch the trailer that he's posted with it. It does look very, very good. I will be getting it, and hopefully it will be close to Diablo, if not almost the same. I mean, it won't be obviously exactly the same, but if it catches the same feel of a very addictive dungeon crawler, then it looks to be a very, very good game. Um, thank you for that post, Scott. I know you've got a lot more on the site. I would love to go through them all, but there is a lot you've been posting, and they are very, very good. Uh, please, everybody, read his posts, because um, you can tell he's very, very passionate about what he's posting about, because he does it very, very often, and they're to a good standard as well. So, again, please read his, and obviously other people's posts on the site and I will get more on upcoming episodes but unfortunately for now I'm going to turn my attention to the group section the groups there's a lot of groups it's nice to see that people are sharing the same interests for games and a machinima and creations it's really really good so I'm going to show you a few now now the first group I want to talk about is the Minecraft group created by my friend Craig Eccleston me and Craig used to play a lot of Minecraft with Will, but unfortunately we've not played for some time. But it's good to see that people are still playing it and posting their creations and their experiences in the game. Or asking people if they want to play the game as well, which is really, really good that people are still getting involved in this game. And are willing to meet new people and share their creations while playing it. It's really, really good to show that this community is strong. The next group is the Achievement Hunters group and this is for people who love hunting achievements and posting their stories about them. This could be from decent achievement games that can give you very easy achievements to difficult achievements to funny achievements to bizarre achievements or people that probably need help with achievements and again it's nice to see that community is forming around people who share a common interest. The last group I'm going to talk about is the Halo 4 group and I wanted to point this out because the game isn't even out yet but there's a lot of people who are excited about it and it's nice to know that on the site you're not alone, there's a lot of people hyped up about this game. Groups are a great way to meet new people and people that are just as passionate and enthusiastic about something that you are. Groups are very easy to set up, just go to the group section of the website from there, really really easy. There's also a lot of groups on offer at the moment. Please feel free to have a browse and heck, even join a couple of groups. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to find a group that people share the same enthusiasm for something that you have. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad thing at all. Uh, that's the end of the groups um, bit of the show, and unfortunately that's the end of this week's show. Uh, next episode is going to be a lot, lot longer. I'm going to pack a lot more stuff in, I'm going to read a lot more blogs. I'm going to do a lot more features that the site has to offer, more gaming news. I've also got a few people coming on to do some stuff as well. I'm not too sure how that's going to go. Should be a, a good laugh though, so hopefully all good fun. Now please feel free to get in contact with me. I'm on Twitter, at Jubiline. I'm also on Facebook, just type in Jubiline and you'll find me. Also on the website, I'm going to be creating a group, so please look on the group section for... XBLG Informer 
let me know your feedback and comments or stuff that you want on the site, stuff that I've missed, uh, features that you want, a uh, blog maybe I've missed, or if you just want a shout out so I can just go, hey, you know, anything at all. Thank you for watching this episode and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.